it's a Nugs. Just the prettiest Nuggie in all the land. Hi. <laughs> Nuggie's like, why do you have my best friend? All right. Also, I just, I, I just lint rolled my shirt and then I picked up Nuggie. <laughs> that one well. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Rochelle and we are going to be going over some of the TBR books that I have picked out for the month of August. However, I just wanted to go and insert a little thank you because we are now over 500 subscribers for my channel, which is just wild. You know, when I changed the direction of my channel and actually figured out what I wanted to film and talk about, I never even thought that there would be this many people that would be following me and, you know, commenting and all of those things. So it just, it means so, so much. I've really enjoyed talking about books and sharing my love of books and maybe my, you know, my love of buying a lot of books, but you know, <laughs> that that's besides the point thank you so much for all joining on this little journey with me and just you know watching my videos it just means so 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 much so with that being said let's start talking about books because that's probably why you're here and maybe for an animal cameo here and there because we have four fur babies they like to pop up during my videos take a look here at this lovely pile of books so as you can see here, there are quite a few books in this pile and I don't know for sure if I'm going to even get through all of these books, let alone like, you know, four or five of them. But the reason why I have this many books picked out, so there is a bingo by Petal Pages and they are doing it for the summertime and I believe the last day to enter is August 31st. And as you all know, I was on a trip last month and it kind of got in the way of reading. However, you will actually find out how many books I read when I get my whole wrap up for the month of July put together. And I actually was kind of surprised by how many I accomplished in that month. But I want to do the remaining pieces of the bingo board that I have left for the pe petal pages bingo. And then also Jan Agaton has a full moon readathon that is going from August 1st to August 13th. So I kind of picked some books that will hopefully cover some of the bingo spots and then also fit some of the prompts that Jan Agaton has for some of her full moon readathon. Um, so yeah, like the, the pile of books that I have picked out, it is probably a little bit more than I usually go for and not as realistic, but there's a bunch of them that I have in that pile that fit certain prompts and hopefully will get me to my goal of getting a bingo for the bingo sheet and also going and accomplishing Jan's readathon. So with that being said, I'll go through some of the books that I have picked out and also maybe show you some of the books I have on my net galley. Somehow I managed to get my percentage up, which is wild because I've been so behind on finishing arcs on there. And there's a bunch of them that I accidentally signed up for for August, but they all sound really interesting. So I'm going to try to see if I can squeeze some of them in as well. And we're also going to be going on another trip again. This one is more in a cabiny area. And so we're actually going to be able to bring Nugget with us. And we're, we're probably going to do some reading there because we don't plan on going in the water. Nugget has never been with us to like a lake or anything like that. And we're kind of nervous that she's going to get nervous if we go in the water. So I just decided I'm going to probably stay along like the edge and just maybe put my feet in every now and then, but probably do some reading. So yeah. Let, let's stop with all the rambling and let's go through the books. First on the list is The Spell Shop by Sarah Beth Durst. And with this book, I got it mixed up with The Honey Witch so many times. I cannot even tell you how many times I thought that they were the same book, but had different cover variations, anything like that. But needless to say, it's because they both have gorgeous covers and 
just to kind of help with that manifestation I want for hopefully one day having my own cottage and being able to have all these cute little animals and nature around me. But yeah, this one is beautiful. It also has these purple sprayed edges and I've heard some mixed things with this one. Hi, Sisual. I'm getting so distracted, the animals are around my feet. I'll just read like a little snippet of it. So it says, a lush cottage core tale full of stolen spell books, unexpected friendships, sweet jams, and even sweeter love. So I believe the main character is a librarian and there's also apparently a talking spider plant and some magic spell books that aren't allowed to be sold or used by certain people and it just sounds very interesting it, it definitely seems like totally different vibe in a way from the honey witch okay and then this other part on the back said this was a good place with kind people who cared about each other there was a unicorn in the woods mermaids in the coves and the best raspberries she'd ever tasted and there was L laren lauren I don't know I just I'm very excited to read this one and it does fit some of the the little spots that I have to fill for both the bingo board and I think the full moon readathon if I'm correct I did not plan this out so this one is the lake house also by Sarah Beth Durst <laughs> there are two different vibes going on here one is like super magical sweet and cozy and then the other one is just like you're you're gonna die here I kind of feel like this is how Charles describes me uh, whenever he's describing me to any of his friends or people that he meets at work or stuff like that. He says that I love cute and cozy magical whimsy things but I also love horror and usually when he finds me in my office I'll be playing some really cute adorable video game and I'll be watching a horror movie on the side or I'll be playing like seven days to die and I'll be watching YouTube videos there that's that's just me that's that's the balance that I have <laughs> but anyway because I got so distracted seeing that the first two books I'm talking about are by the same author so this is about some kids that go to an off-the-grid summer camp and there are a few kids that are late arrivals but it seems like there's only a few people left there and there's no cell service, there's no electricity, no shelter, and no way back to civilization. And then it kind of becomes clear that something is happening and there's potentially someone that's hunting off these people at the camp. So it just sounds really interesting and of course with my, my messed up brain, I'm like, oh, we are going to a cabin, we are going to like, you know, do another friends trip why not bring this book along for the trip because that sounds like such a great idea um so yeah that there might be regrets with this decision but if there are you will hear about it later and then i have flower heart by katherine bakewell i know i've talked about this one in the past where there's this girl that has magic and she's trying to use it to go and help save her dad because her magic i think ended up causing some something to happen to her dad with like flowers and everything and then it kind of turns out that some people in the same area that she lives in also need to be helped and her magic might be the only thing that saves it i remember that i got this book just because it gave me poison ivy vibes you know just with the main character having red hair and then just the flowers and leaves around her but I can't remember whose video it was that I was watching today, but they actually read this book, I think, for last month, and they said there is trans representation in this book. That's actually one of the spots on the bingo sheet that I need to cross off, and I couldn't really think of anything in my bookshelf that I haven't read already with that. Um, I might have some NetGalley books that would cross that off, but I'm not quite sure. So I put this book on my list again because I did really want to read it a few months ago and I just never got the chance to. So yeah, we're putting this one back on the list. And then <laughs> I was not able to get to the last book in the Black Winter series by Darcy Coates. This one is Silence in the Shadows. I'm not exactly upset that I didn't get to it last month because I have been kind of putting off and dreading ending this lovely series that just uh, it just crosses off so many things that I really enjoy reading about. Box apocalypses, you know, creatures that are kind of zombie-esque. Like, I just, I love that stuff so much. But 
I'm re-adding this onto the list. I don't know per se if it really fits any of the prompts that I need, but I really do want to visit this world again, finish the series, and then just kind of continue on reading the rest of Darcy Coates' books because she has kind of become a favorite of mine this year, which has been very surprising, but I'm, I'm really not upset about it. So then the next one I'm adding on to the list is Shatter Me by Tira, Tira Maffi. I don't think I'm saying her name right. I know I heard other people saying it, but I am filming this after my work day, so my brain is a little bit mushy. I have major work brain going on right now. But from my understanding, this one is a dystopian series. This was also a series that was really popular when I was growing up, and I just never got the chance to read it. And I do really love dystopian stories, so I want to go and pick this one up. I feel like it might fit some of the prompts as well that I need to read. So we'll see if I get to dive into this world. And if I do enjoy it, I need to get the rest of the books. And if not, I think I have at least three more books in this series that if I don't like this, I might have to unhaul. So we'll see. Next, I have A Time to Dance by Padma Venka Traman. And this one, I actually am going to be doing a buddy read with my friend Kat from Curious Cat. She actually expressed interest in one of my past videos when I was talking about this one and we decided that we're going to do a buddy read and she just sent me a message I think early this morning saying that she got this book and so we're going to be doing a buddy read and luckily for me on the bingo sheet there is a buddy read prompt and so I'm very excited that that ends up going and crossing things off because I did really want to read this with my friend Kat and it just works perfectly. But yeah, this one should be fairly easy to read and go through, as you can see, because of the text. So yeah, I'm excited with this one because it is about um, the main character who is a dancer and suddenly becomes an amputee and has to decide whether or not she's going to give up her dream of dancing or if she's going to push through it and learn how to dance with her new limb difference. So very excited for this. We know that I love limb difference representation in books. And honestly, I don't know too many people that have talked about this book, so I'm very excited. And then next I have Snow Globe by Soo Young Park. This one is also a dystopian type of book. So inside the snow globe is basically the only place that's warm and outside of it is kind of this desolate, isolated wasteland. And this book is actually translated. I have never read a translated book, so I'm very excited to kind of read my first translated book. It's kind of a surprise that that hasn't happened in the past before. But I have had another friend that has read this book. I can't remember her username at the top of my head, but I will put it down in the description below. But she actually read this book and is, um, it's how it came to my attention. And she really enjoyed this. And I think it's either going to be a duology or it's either a duology or the next book is coming out soon. So either way, very excited to dive into this world and it fits another prompt as well. So just kind of going off of the bingo sheet to kind of explain some of the spots that I have left to fill. And I'll, I'll insert a picture here of what I have currently filled out. But there's a few different spots that I would like to try to do. So if I could get read a book with trans representation, that would give me diagonal for a bingo. Read a book that features a body of water. So there's actually one on my net galley that might fit this. And then read a genre you don't usually read. I have a few options for this one as well in my net galley. And then I think this one could potentially count, but since I'm gonna be using it for a different prompt, I feel like it's not exactly fair to reuse the book multiple times. So I probably won't use it for that one. And then share your current drink plus current read. This one will be really easy. There's a few different prompts, as you can see on this board, that involve like taking a picture or like setting your books up a certain way. And I just haven't gotten to too many of those yet, but I can easily do that. So that will give me another bingo if I fill that one out. Reread a favorite book. This one I've kind of been going back and forth on. If I were to reread a favorite book, I think I might want to go to the Arcana Chronicles and read the second book, which is Endless Night. And this one, the main character kind of gets to face the the one tarot card person that is kind of her sworn enemy in a way. And 
I just, I love this series. I have not finished it because I just have one book left. So if I were to reread another book and go for that last bingo on the sheet, it would probably be this one. So then another line that I could kind of go after would be the read a book with trans representation, which I already talked about potentially getting, which would give me that diagonal. And then reading a book that features a body of water, share your current outfit plus current read. That's another one that should be very easy to do. And then read a translated book, which is Snow Globe, which I have here. Some others that I feel might be really easy for me to get would to be share your outdoor reading spot. Like I said, we're going to a cabin. So that one should be fairly easy to do. And then read a book from an LGBTQIA plus author. I feel like there's some that I've already read, but unfortunately I don't think they were during the start of the summer bingo. So I might have to go and check some of my other books on my shelves to see if any fit that. I do have some NetGalley books that might work. I just need to do some research to double check to see if the authors are a part of those communities. And then, like I said, also read something with a buddy. So there, there's a lot of different options I have here for doing bingos. There are some options and I'll, I'll share everything down below so you can actually see what is a part of the bingo and if you want to join as well. Like I said, the bingo is available until the end of August and I believe you just have to be 18 to join. But yeah, there, there's some options where you can do like a couple bingos, but then if you wanna do a blackout board for the bingo, there's that as well. And I kind of want that, but there's some of these on here that I don't know if I can for sure get them, like read a banned or challenged book. That seems a little bit tricky and then read a borrowed book. I do have an option for that one so we shall see but that's kind of what I have figured out so far. And then for Jan's full moon readathon she has all of these different prompts and I'll also include those down below but some of the really easy ones would be like paperback book, reading a paperback book, super easy there. And then book you've had for a long time. I feel like if I were to do a reread of Endless Night from the Arcana Chronicles, then that would easily count it off because I've had that one since I was in college. Like the full moon part of the prompts are super easy. Reading a classic book might be a little bit trickier. I don't know too many classics that I have on my bookshelves that I'm interested in reading. And a book by an author you love, easy. I'm really loving Darcy Coates right now. So I think I would definitely have to include her for that. A book with humor. Now, I was re-watching Jan's video describing the readathon, and she even said, like, if there's a book that just, like, made you chuckle, count it. So, it doesn't necessarily have to be a humorous book, which I do appreciate with how flexible she is for the prompts, because I'm not really someone that goes out of my re way to read a book that's full of comedy. And then Colorful Cover, I think a lot of these books would count for that. Another one that I'm not quite sure is for the werewolf part of the readathon, and it's a book that involves a wolf. Now some of these books could potentially have a wolf in them, and I just don't know it, but there's one book that I'm kind of thinking of, and I can't remember the title of it, so I'll insert a picture, but I have enough Kindle points where I might be able to buy this book. So if I did that, I'd probably add that for the prompt. And then special edition or alter alternate cover. I feel like even though the spell shop has like the normal cover for the book, it has sprayed edges, so I kind of feel like that's a little bit of a special edition. So yeah, like I said, Jan is very flexible with the prompt, which I very much appreciate. So I feel like there's a lot of wiggle room for me to fit some of the books I have for the bingo board to fit into her full moon readathon. Some of the other books that I kind of have picked out that I could potentially read would be The Madness by Ga Don Kurtigich. I don't think I'm saying that right. And it kind of seems a little bit like a retelling of Dracula in a way from my understanding. I just started it yesterday and my head was kind of connecting the dots where like, wait, some of these names are familiar. And then let's see, another one is Come Out, Come Out by Natalie C. Parker. And I believe this one has LGBTQIA plus representation in it, but I'm not quite sure if the author is part of that community. So I'll have to look into that. And then if not, I do have a, a few other arcs on NetGalley that I could also go and read and I'll just insert their pictures here. But yeah, like I said, this is a pretty big 
um, list of books that I have on my list for hi Kiko for August I'm not exactly sure if I'll get to all of them or any of anything like that but I would really like to participate in the readathon for Jan and also at least get some bingos for pedal pages so yeah we'll see we'll see how that goes <laughs> The, this video definitely has kind of been all over the place. I just, I, I've been so tired. Like I was supposed to film this over the weekend and I was just like, I have no energy to do this. So we are filming it today. I also need to work on editing my CozyCon trip video. So that should be coming up soon. But yeah, apologies for this video kind of being very sporadic and me losing my train of thought multiple times but I do you see this cat do you, do you see him if you've made it this far and have listened to all my babbling all the randomness me losing my train of thoughts so many times you are so amazing and I appreciate you so much if you could leave like a moon emote in the comments that would be really cool just to let me know that you made it this far <laughs> through all my randomness but yeah, we're probably going to wrap it up here because I think it's going to storm outside and we really need to take Nugget on a walk. So I will just go and say I love you all and you are worthy and capable of amazing things. I will see you all soon and there should be another video coming up this week. So keep your eye out for that. Bye everyone. I said it's so weird to film when you haven't filmed in a while. It's Rochelle for you. <laughs> I can't English. That type of stuff. I don't know where I'm going with this. He's so chill. Some of my cats, like, I could do anything to, and they, they could care less. Huh. Yeah. All right. I'm probably going to put that in the bloopers. Sunday mornings hiding under covers I don't mind staying in with you